pretty pastel pastries and if you're new here hi my name is Giselle in today's tutorial we're going to be making a breakable heart and three strawberries in the theme of Halloween today and by the way this is episode number five of my Halloween treat series if you haven't checked out my last four videos go ahead and check those out those are up on my youtube channel now let's go ahead and get started so our first step is going to be melting our almond bark in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time. You want to make sure you stop and stir after every addition. Now to make this color gray, all we're going to do is add in a few drops of our Chef Master in the color black. And also make sure you scrape that really well around the edges so you make sure there are no black streaks. So now we're going to pour this directly inside of our mold. So we're going to create a really strong outer shell. We do not want this to be really weak, you know, having not enough chocolate in one spot and a lot on the other. So we're going to even this out. But I'm just going to kind of fast forward through this because I already have a full and detailed tutorial on my YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and link it down below or it'll be in the top right hand side if you guys are using your cell phone or your tablet. The TV is going to be a different case, but you can always check my description box. So this will be going in my refrigerator. And let's move on to the next step. So now let's start on all of our decoration. So here we have this really awesome mold. I found this one from Amazon. And all we're going to do is pipe in some black candy melts inside. The brand of candy melts I love to use actually. It's really good. It's either Sweet Tooth Fairy in the color black or Wilton. Those are both really great to work with. Although with the Wilton, you will get like a thicker consistency and just make sure you do not overheat that. But if you would like to switch over to Sweet Tooth Fairy Candy Melts, those melt like a dream. Those are really, really good. Highly recommend that one too. So they're both really great, you know, whatever you guys have available. So these will be going in the refrigerator as well until they're completely set. So now we're going to move on to our skeleton hand mold and we have a small ball of black fondant. We're just going to tear off a small piece and we're going to work this inside of our mold. So just take your time and make sure each and every small crevice gets completely covered with fondant. Now we're going to grab our bench scraper and we're going to scrape this along the side of the mold. And as you guys can see, that was super easy to accomplish. And all we're going to do now is repress everything back into the mold and I do see that I have some spots where I didn't get enough fondant on there. So just grab a small piece and, you know, replace it back. And wherever you guys see, like, there's not enough fondant, just take a little bit more. We can always take our bench scraper again and re-scrape. So now that we're done with our fondant, it's going to be super simple to unmold. We're going to grab it from the bottom and we're going to pull up just like that we have our fondant hand and that looks super cool. That's going to look so awesome on our strawberry. So now let's move on to our chocolate covered strawberries. So we're going to place our skewer on the right hand side of that strawberry stem. We're going to pick up the stems and we're going to dip this directly inside of our chocolate. Then we're going to lift up and shake off all that excess. So after that, I'm going to place that on my silicone mat. And we're going to repeat that same process throughout the rest of them. So now we're going to unmold our small chocolates and you're just going to pull away from the sides and it releases super easily. You guys know we can't forget about our edible glitter. Today we're going to be using the brand Shine Dessert Glitter in the color Midnight Sky 
It's this really beautiful black and kind of like silvery color. It's really pretty. And also don't forget to use the code PASTEL at checkout for some money off your order. So we're just going to take a fluffy brush, we're going to dip inside, and we're going to add this directly on top of all of our small decorations. Now we're going to adhere all of our decorations onto our strawberry. So in the back of this, I'm going to add a small amount of my white chocolate. And this is just going to help us adhere both of them together and making sure it stays at room temperature to harden up. So we're going to do this step and we'll be back to go on to the next one. So we have strawberry design number two. We're going to make this black spider web and we're going to use our candy melts again. Another helpful tip, just make sure it is the correct consistency. You don't want it to be like clumping up on you and being too thick to pipe out. So if it is getting a little thicker, you can always place it in the microwave for about three to five seconds and just make sure you stop and massage the bag just to make sure all that heat gets distributed around and making sure it's all completely melted. Another helpful tip is helping you figure out which works best for you, which method. So you can have the option of resting your hand on your countertop, which I personally like so much more better. I just feel like I have a bit more control than as opposed to holding it up here and just kind of, you know, it's just a little bit more difficult for me but it might be totally different for you. So just see what works best for you and just go with that. So you guys can feel more comfortable in piping as time goes on. Then we're going to use our edible dust in the color pearl and we're just gonna spray this on both of our berries. Starting on our strawberry design number three, this is going to be our blood drip. We're going to start at the top forming a line then working ourselves from the left to the right, we're going to do different kind of lengths of our blood drip. So it could be any kind of length you guys want. It could be shorter or longer. So after that, we're going to give this a really good shake. And this is just going to make it look super seamlessly and look like everything's, you know, ultimately coming together. So again, we're going to draw out that small little line and we're going to follow with different lengths of our drip. And again, make sure you guys shake this up. And that is pretty much it for this blood drip. It's really simple. So now we're going to wait till this is completely dried up. We want our blood drip to be completely set. Then we're going to add on our small little decoration in the center, followed with a little bit of chocolate to make sure everything adheres really well. Next up, we're going to finally work on our breakable heart. Now in a small cup, I have some really pretty powder in there. I'll make sure to leave that link down below in my description box as to where you guys can find it and what the name is. So we're going to grab a small brush here and we're just going to pack this on our breakable heart, making sure we cover every single side. Then we're going to swirl this all around and that's just going to leave us with a really pretty effect on our breakable heart. So just to have our strawberries ready, we're going to place them in these mini cupcake liners. These liners are my favorite ones to use for all of my strawberries from now on. I just have been using those for a while and I've just stuck to them because they are the best. Now in a small bowl, we're going to add just a small amount of water. You really do not need that much. And we're also going to grab our black liquid gel. And we're going to make sure we mix this really well so that we have no leftover chunks inside of this small little concoction that we're making with our black food coloring. Now 
now with this step it's going to get a little messy so you want to make sure you move your strawberries to the side and you have a big piece of wax paper or parchment paper at the bottom to prevent any staining or anything like that so just be very mindful that it's going to get pretty messy here then we're going to dip our pastry brush inside and we're going to use our finger to kind of just move this all around the heart and that is the effect we're going to be getting you know another idea we can do with this is use like the gold color and just like dip inside of our gold and do that same effect that also look really nice on any colored breakable heart so this is a heart up close and it doesn't have any glitter yet in the next picture i'll go ahead and show you guys so this is now with some beautiful glitter and i use the color eskimo from the same brand shine dessert glitter so now we're ready to start packaging up our arrangement here and just a side note you do want to wait and make sure that that black color on a breakable heart is completely set it takes about 30 minutes for it to kind of fully dry so in the meantime just leave it at room temperature to just make sure it completely dries but in the video i'm just going to use it kind of fresh but it's okay you can still work with it i'm just going to align my strawberries on the right hand side and i just love how all of this came together i love all the colors and you can of course add any kind of saying you want on your breakable heart Lastly, we're going to wrap our tool all the way around the box and we can't forget about our mallet so I'm actually going to place this on the outside of my box and just secure this with a really tight knot and a bow. So that is pretty much it for this entire tutorial. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that post notification to notify you the next time I upload, which is going to be very, very soon. We're going to be learning all about Cocoa Bomb, so stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys, have a lovely day!